The start of the week was pretty crazy here at COP26. Over 100 countries signed on to a pledge to reduce methane emissions by 30% uh, by the year 2030. So that was a good start. Uh, another 100 nations, some of the same ones, uh, signed on to a, a separate pledge to end deforestation by the year 2030. Uh, deforestation is a big issue because the world's big forests act as a carbon sink. So that, that, was, a, that was an encouraging sign. The next big thing uh, I would say of note would be that several countries had agreed to help South Africa transition from its use of coal to renewable energy. Uh, a big, big issue here at COP is how the developing world is going to be given help to transition to renewable energy. And so the US and various countries came together and said that they would fund 8.5 billion in financing to help them accomplish that. You know, they, they, the US has come out with a show of force at this conference. It seems like every time you turn around, you're running into John Kerry. He's the president's point person uh, at the conference and he's delivered numerous speeches, media availability, uh, he leads panels at the U.S. Center in the pavilion here. Uh, he's really the driving force uh, behind what the U.S. is hoping to achieve, uh, to cut its emissions in half by 2030 and to go net zero by 2050. That's, um, you know, easily said, harder done, uh, but it's trying to lead by example. Next week is the nitty gritty for more pledges and um, more commitments with the, the big goal of keeping temperature rise from exceeding 1.5 degrees Celsius. Um, it's a lot of technical things uh, and every little bit helps. So you'll see some sort of a, a document that comes at the end of this conference. It's still unclear as to how many nations will sign on to that document. Um, we're just going to have to wait and see, but uh, there's a lot of chipping away that, that happens in the next week. So small side deals like the deal to, uh, to help South Africa transition away from coal. There will be more deals like that. There will be more financing announced. There will be more billionaires like Jeff Bezos coming in and saying, I'm going to donate X amount of money to help do X, Y, or Z. And all these things together go toward the enormous task of keeping temperatures from rising too high.